Yes, he is now back in the cabinet after over six months in the cold following claims of illegal sale of Grand Regency Hotel. The comeback comes although a report of the tribunal set up to investigate him has not been released to the public. It is now believed the former finance minister was cleared of any wrongdoing. Watu wakanyama maneno yote, hakuna mtu anasema thibitisha. Ilikuwa imeamuliwa, kemunya atafanya nini? Mnakubuka vile yeso alikuwa anasubruwa? Kimunya now goes to the Ministry of Trade, formerly held by Uhuru Kenyatta, who has now been moved to the powerful finance docket. Uhuru, who is also Deputy Prime Minister, carries with him that post to the finance ministry. And he will be facing a big challenge of trying to find money to give the teachers who are demanding 17 billion shillings for their pay rise. He will also be expected to tackle a rising budget deficit and a high rate of inflation amid declining rate of economic growth. Uhuru was due to lead a delegation for an official trip to Iran. Starting tomorrow, the 42-member cabinet will also have a new phase in the name of Franklin Bate, the MP for Buret. Bate, who is now serving his first term in parliament, is a former controller of State House during former President Moy's reign and takes over the docket of frauds formerly held by the late Kipkali Akones, who died in a plane crash in June last year. Every person in South Rift was equally uh, accessible to the possibility of being appointed a minister. So none of us was privy to that position of being appointed minister because we are all equal there and equal opportunity for each one of us. That post has now been filled by someone from the South Rift who had complained of getting a road deal. Cabinet Minister Chris Obure was holding that post in an acting capacity. Another new appointee is Beatrice Cornes, who is now an assistant minister in the Ministry of Home Affairs. Beatrice, the widow of the late Cornes, takes over the post formerly held by an assistant minister, Lona Laboso, who perished in the plane accident with Kipkalia Cones. Daniel Corri, Citizen TV, Nairobi.